So we have finally made it to the new year. So happy new year to all of you out there. And I wish you a ton of health and prosperity in 2023. Anyways, with that being said today, we have an amazing recipe to kick off the new year. I'm gonna show you how to make my mother's chickpea and rice soup. And let me tell you, this is a recipe that I keep very close to my heart as my mother is the inspiration of everything that I am. Anyways, this soup has so many great flavors to it. It's very easy to make and it comes together in about 40 minutes. Folks, this this is another one of those recipes where all you need is simple ingredients, there's no tricky techniques, just honest clean cooking that packs a ton of goodness. This video is sponsored by Tienda.com. La Tienda is an online superstore focusing on selling all things Spain for your home and kitchen and they've been around since 1996. And let me tell you, they have such an amazing selection of artisan Spanish ingredients like queso manchego, the famous jamón serrano and jamón ibérico, the beautiful canned seafood from Spain, marcona almonds, olives, and all the spices you need to make your favorite Spanish recipes, among so many other great ingredients. And let me tell you, when it comes to cookware, they have a huge selection of authentic Spanish paella pans that range in size from two servings all the way up to 50 servings, which is for a ton of paella. And they even offer classic grilling systems that way you can always perfectly cook your paella. Folks, visit tienda.com. Let them know Albert from Spain on a Fork sent you there and make sure you use coupon code on a fork during checkout for 10% off your order. All right, let's begin by getting our ingredients ready. I'm gonna finely chop one medium sized onion, roughly chop five cloves of garlic, finely chop one red bell pepper and cut about 15 green beans that have already been trimmed at the ends into pieces that are one inch long, which is about two and a half centimeters. Then we'll cut two medium sized sweet potatoes that have already been peeled, washed and patted dry, each one to small bite sized pieces that are half an inch thick, which is about one and a quarter centimeters. The secret here, try to cut the sweet potatoes into smaller pieces, that way they evenly cook with the rice. And for the final ingredient, we'll grab a jar of cooked chickpeas, drain them into a colander, and rinse them under some cold running water. The size of the jar that I'm using is 700 grams, which becomes 540 grams once it's drained, which is about 19 ounces or three cups of cooked chickpeas. For the next step, let's start cooking our dish. I'm gonna heat a stock pot with a medium heat and add in about three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 45 milliliters. After a couple minutes, I'm gonna add in all the chopped vegetables, except for the sweet potatoes. And we'll mix them around, that way they're all coated in that olive oil. And you wanna make sure to mix this continuously, that way the vegetables evenly saute and they don't brown too quickly. After about three to four minutes and the vegetables are lightly sauteed, I'm gonna add in the pieces of sweet potato, half a teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is about 1.15 grams, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, which is about 1.25 grams, and half a teaspoon of dried thyme, which is about half a gram. Then we'll add in a generous pinch of sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a mix until everything's well mixed together. Then we'll add in between six to seven cups of water, which is about one and a half liters. Of course, to make this soup, you can also use broth. However, my mother does prefer to use water when she makes this recipe. That way the liquid doesn't overpower the natural flavors of the soup. Then we'll heat it with a high heat, give it a mix and bring the water to a boil. Once the water comes to a boil, we'll add in the drained chickpeas and we'll measure out half a cup of Spanish round rice, which is 110 grams and add it into the stock pot. To make this recipe, you can use whatever rice you like. and we'll give this one final mix. That way all the ingredients are evenly mixed together. And let me tell you at this point, you wanna get in there and give it a quick taste test. That way your seasonings are right on the money. Once the water comes back to a boil, we'll place the lid on the stock pot 
and we'll lower the fire to a low medium heat and we're gonna simmer this between 15 to 20 minutes. This is enough time for all the flavors to develop and for those sweet potatoes and that rice to be perfectly cooked through. After about 20 minutes, we'll remove the lid from the stock pot. And you know, you can always tell when the ingredients are perfectly cooked through. You pierce one of the sweet potatoes with a toothpick, and if it easily goes in there, they are ready to go. And as for the rice, you want those grains to have a beautiful plum texture. At this point, this soup is ready to go. I'm gonna remove the stock pot from the heat. Transfer some of the soup into a shallow bowl. And we'll garnish it with some fresh parsley. Check it out. My mother's chickpea and rice soup is done. Super easy to make. Made with the simplest ingredients and all done in just 40 minutes. Truly the kind of food that's going to fill your body with so much goodness. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Now this is the kind of dish that you seriously want to start the year off with. So nourishing. Here we go. I'm telling you, it instantly warms your soul. But for me, it takes me uh, straight to my mother's dining room. She's made this for me so many times. In fact, a couple weeks ago, she has made it. Folks, you saw this easy to make, heart healthy, and done in about 40 minutes. Serve the soup next to a crunchy baguette, and of course, a bottle of Spanish wine, but more specifically from the wine region of La Rioja, which is one of my mother's favorite wine regions. You're gonna have yourself one heck of a great meal. Really quick before I go, uh, shout out to a couple of my patrons, Dr. Michael Barvitz, Terry K. Clean, Jesper Hulum, and Jim Owens. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon that we can get notified every time I release new content. Till the next time, hasta luego. So good. Too good. You know how hard it is to replicate a dish from your own mother, which is the one that taught you how to cook? And then it actually comes out. See you guys in the next video. Hasta luego.